So it's the next day, the day after surgery. I'm actually getting out today. Crazy, you can get, um, you can come in the hospital, get an organ removed from your body and leave the next day. I love modern medicine. Uh, but yeah, leaving, uh, leaving today, I don't know what time. It all depends on if I take something for pain, because obviously you can't drive after that. Uh, then I'll have to wait around before I can drive. I'm uh, definitely gonna have to get someone to carry my stuff because they told me I cannot lift anything over 10 pounds for the next four weeks. So that's gonna be real fun. But yeah, about to eat this French toast and potato hospital thing right now. I'm so hungry, I don't care, but God, I am super, super sore today. Like, one half of it, it's like really bad, the gas pains. It's weird, because you get it like, you get the gas pains like everywhere from the air, like it's up in my shoulders. But then also just soreness from someone having tools inside your body and ripping an organ out. But it's nothing too bad. I would still take this pain that I'm in right now over that gallbladder pain literally any day of the week. I pretty much take almost any, I would rather someone just stand there and kick me in the balls repeatedly, over and over, than deal with that gallbladder pain. Cause that was just, that was just something else. That was just horrible. I also have a fat lip. You can't really tell. It's mainly on the inside, but I guess from uh, where they intubate you, whenever you get the breathing tube after you get put under, I got a nice little cut and fat lip on the inside of my lip. So that's fun, but nothing, uh, nothing, too bad. I got him to take out one of the extra IVs last night because I was like, that's entirely too excessive. And that one was hurting, so I had to take that out. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then probably just lay down until they start giving me kind of like a time frame to leave because like I said, I am still hurting, so I'm not in re really in any rush to get up and pack my stuff, which I don't have that much. I just have that little bit of stuff right there. And I gotta wait for transport. And the shitty thing is that I gotta walk all the way around the hospital because I parked over by the emergency room. So I have to go get my car by the emergency room, come out, come all the way back around the hospital, come to the front, have them load up my stuff and then drive home. So yeah, that is the, uh, that's the agenda for, uh, for today. The next day. What's up everybody? So as you can tell, I am home. Uh, definitely. Definitely super, super, super sore, but it's not that bad. I'm able to eat now without getting horrible gallbladder pain, so that's awesome. Also, the air and everything that's that was like building up and hurting, it's been dissipating. I've been able to pass that. Anyways, I woke up early and I got up and I made some breakfast, took Ember out, and I don't really know what to do now. There's not much I can do. Can't lift anything over 10 pounds, so I can't even like do my laundry currently because I had a whole like basket full and I can't move that. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do for the next couple weeks. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to do with myself. I guess I'm just gonna sit around here and watch TV or something. I hate not being productive. Um, I wish I could just go ahead and stream, but it still hurts to like sit up. Like the best way that I can sit is usually like sitting and leaning back a little bit. <clears throat> so I can't sit in like my gaming chair sitting straight up. And I definitely can't lean forward or anything like that. Cause what the, um, what the surgeon told me is my gallbladder was super, super thick. Like it was so scarred the outside, it basically turned into almost like a leather pouch. And then I had a huge stone in there it was blocking everything along with a little bunch of little ones, but he said that the reason it was hurting so bad is because when I would start moving around, especially when I would start moving at work, that basically you had this little leather pouch of stones that would just be moving around inside of you, beating the crap out of everything around it. So everything around it was super inflamed. The incisions, like these incisions right here, these front two, the one on my belly button and that one right there, those are larger than the usual, like, those are bigger than these over here. So these are just held together with wound glue on the side right here. Um, these right here, they actually, cause they are wider and deeper than usual. They obviously have to cut the tissue and they cut your muscle. 
So basically my ab muscles are sewn together from the inside. So I can't do anything, especially, like, I can't do anything strenuous for a week. Like I'm not even allowed to walk like long distances for a week. And if I have to bend over to get anything, I have to do the Nicki Minaj. And if you don't know what the Nicki Minaj is, let me demonstrate for you. So the Nicki Minaj is where you put your hands on your knees. Well, you gotta do this backwards so you get the full effect. And you gotta get low like you're about to twerk, all right? So you gotta like, there we go. That's the Nicki Minaj. And then we bring it back up. That's how I have to bend, because I have to keep all this right here, like, not moving. So I've been finding ways to roly-poly myself out of bed so I don't use my abs and such. But it's, uh, it's not bad. If you're wondering why I have, like, 9 billion jackets on, it's because I just took Ember outside and it's super cold. I'm actually, I need to take him out again, but there's another dog just chilling out there. Because I live in the country and people don't keep their fucking dogs on leashes or in their own yards. And, uh, Ember will go crazy. And if Ember pulls right now, I'll probably die inside. So... We're just gonna wait till this little golden retriever goes on his merry way, and then we'll take him back out. All right, he's moseyed down far enough to where he's gotta take him back out because he just had his breakfast and now he's got poop. So this will make sure your dog does not pull. Let's go, buddy. You know one thing, it is miserable outside right now. It is freezing, it is raining. Make sure those dogs are still over there. Yeah, they're way down the street. We're good. We are good. All right, let's go, buddy. Oh, man. I can't walk fast. I just have to, I'm just walking like a grandpa through the freezing rain. Uh, slept pretty good last night. The greatest part was uh, most of the pain, the bad, bad pain flares I was having yesterday was caused from all that air and trapped gas. And because my abs, like I said, are sewn together, you can't, you can't fart, all right? Let's just put it out there, you can't fart. Because you can't push and like contract your abdominal muscles. Because uh, you can't like, if that, if those sutures inside were to break, then it could cause a hernia and nobody wants to have to deal with that. But uh, I woke up after I, like as soon as I got home, I took some, uh, I took one of the painkillers they gave me. because driving like I was dying and then uh, I got home and I took that but then I woke up and made something small to eat so I could take my other meds and then went back to sleep but when I laid in the bed it finally happened the glorious farts began and it wasn't like in the hospital I was letting out little ones because that's like a requirement they won't let you leave the hospital unless you're somewhat passing gas that lets them know that your your, your system's starting to kind of work again so it was like in the hospital it was these little ones like like <laughs> You know, the little, the little zzz and poofs. But no, last night as I was laying there, it sounded like someone was throwing the brass instrument section of a band down a stairwell. It was like, bop, 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 bop. And it was glorious. I know, I know. All these, all the people who follow my vlog, they're like, oh my God, I got a crush on you. That just went straight out the window. But that's, uh, that's life. So, uh, so yeah, that was a wonderful, that was a huge, huge relief. So... I'm hoping that within the next like day or two, I can just stop taking the uh, the painkillers altogether. Cause by they said by that point it should like be healed enough to where I won't need them or anything. They just said to watch out. So whenever it does like heal up or whenever I'm not in pain anymore, don't overdo it. Don't see. Don't take that as a sign that I can just go full throttle. Cause those sutures are still in there, and because like. It's so funny because I went to pick up my scripts and they called me in so many things, but only one of these things are an actual like painkiller. They, cause I told them I couldn't, I wasn't taking those oxys anymore cause they were giving me oxys in the hospital and I just hate those with a passion cause they just make me so out of it for the most of the day. So they called me in a uh, Norco, which is just like hydrocodone with, with Tylenol in it. But then they like, they called me in. I mean, like, prescription strength, like, Advil, prescription strength Tylenol. I didn't even know they made prescription strength Tylenol. Like, that was a stronger Tylenol than regular Tylenol. So, they, I have all these, like, I have all these bottles. But it's just mainly just, like, souped-up versions of stuff you can buy at the store. I see, like, so many CFers, they'll, like, go to the ER or the hospital, and they're like, oh, man, loving this Dilaudid or loving this morphine or something. I don't see how y'all do it. Like, I, I'm not judging whatsoever. I'm just saying, like, I hate the way it makes me feel. Like, I itch. 
I'm out of it, I'm cranky, and that Dilaudid was the devil. Like, I was legit sitting in that waiting area before I went back to my main room, and I was, like, nodding off. I probably liked a bunch of you guys' posts or shared posts by accident because my finger would just, like, nod off onto the phone. And I was like, man, that's, that's just not, this is not a good look for me, not working out for me. I do not dig this. I mainly just wanted to say a huge, again, a huge, huge thank you to you guys. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or social media, um, I kind of had to suck up my pride and for the first time ever ask people to help out, like for donations. Because like, if you guys donate whenever I'm streaming or doing stuff like that, it's different because I'm like, you know, I'm trying to entertain you. I'm like trying, I'm prov providing a, a service, if you will. And but, so, but I rarely will ever ask people like, in the GoFundMe type of way, like, hey, help me pay this, but because so many bills and stuff fell at the same time, and then I'm gonna be out for four to six weeks, and uh, my I just got my my last paycheck from Amazon, not last last, but until I go back to work, like my uh, I got I switched over to Amazon's insurance, and the Amazon insurance is basically a copay plan, so you don't have deductibles or anything like that, but it's like a like a three thousand dollar max out of pocket, and then after that. And everything's covered but because i just switched over like i you know i still everything's fresh and so it's like there's like a there's like a thousand dollar cap on a hospital on like inpatient visits and then the er was like 250 dollars and a bunch of stuff and it was like stressing me out because i knew like i wanted to stay on top of it and pay it because i've been doing my best to like grind and crank and move life forward i was so close like with all this overtime to getting my own place and now that that's, that's gone out the window and I basically got to start back from square one, it really sucks. But uh, basically what I was worried about was paying off, it's basically I had a choice, pay off all my hospital bills and stay up on that and like go with my credit and everything. Or, and then, and then if I did pay that, then I wouldn't be able to afford med refills, like dog food, groceries, the things like that, or vice versa, afford the groceries and all that, get behind on the med, on the hospital bills and kind of undo all that progress. So I had posted and asked you guys if you could donate anything. And again, it all goes towards bills. Like there's nothing is going to be used for anything. Like it was sort of like gaming stuff or going out, which I mean, I won't be going out because my insides are sewn together or anything. It's just straight for bills. And you guys have been just absolutely amazing. You've blown me away. I'm just kind of overwhelmed at everything. So all I can just say is thank you all so much. And I love you. Like I thank all of you guys. And like I said, anything you donate is going straight towards, straight towards bills and just general life, you know, upkeep and all that. That's that's probably my bit. Like I've told I've told you guys before, I grew up with family who weren't very, they weren't very kind people. If you had to ask them for anything, if me and my mom had to ask them for anything, whether it be help with me, you know, borrowing money to help with medicines or whatever. They were very judgmental. They would talk down to you. They basically just made you feel like the scum of the earth because you had to ask. And so growing up and dealing with that, I kind of just got to the point where I quit asking people for help. I would just go without and sacrifice and suffer. And that's pretty much what I've done forever. But I've kind of gotten to the point now to where I'm starting to get a leg up. And I know if I do that, if I just kind of shut down and I don't ask people, then whenever I can go back to work and things start going, I'm going to be even more in the hole than I was before. And honestly, you guys are like more family to me than most of my family are. So I just can't say, uh, I can't say thank you enough for, for all of your, for all of your help. But I just wanted to be like, I just want to be very transparent because if I am going to ask, I'm definitely like wanting to let you guys know exactly where everything's going what it's going towards because I hate that. I hate when people like, ask for donations and then you, you see them out doing stuff and using it for what it's not supposed to and that's just, it's not right. Like it's not, it's not in me to do that. And some people may say like, oh, well they donated so the person should be able to use what use it however they want. No, that's absolute bullshit. Like no, anything you donate, it's going towards, you know, helping with bills and, and all of that and that is 100% it. So for anyone who has donated, or is going to donate or anything, just know that I love you and you have helped out more than you know. You guys are amazing. All the links to donate are down down below in like the comments. Oh, I about fell over. Ha! Ah, that'd have been fun. Uh, down in the comments or uh, in the description or whatever. And like I said uh, on my post, you know, if you guys want discount codes to the shop, 
if you, you know, want ember pins or anything, I might try to design some new stuff during my downtime and put it up for super cheap. I don't know if I can put it up for free on Teespring or I totally would. I'll see. I'll look into that just to, you know, just to repay you guys because, I mean, you totally blown me away. I'll do whatever I can to try to give it back to you. I'm going to be trying to stream again soon once I'm able to sit up. I'm about to take one of these pills, which is going to just knock me out because it's, it's like I'm trying to stand more just to get used to it. But once you stand and gravity pulls everything, it kind of hurts. So I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take some of these meds and I'm going to sit here, watch some TV, play some Star Wars and try to force myself to take it easy. I'm not very good at taking it easy. That is very it's a very hard thing for me. So I'm going to do my best to take it easy, do that so I don't aggravate any sort of or I don't flare anything up or cause any more problems or whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to make this really quick and give you guys an update, let you know I'm out of the hospital. I'm on the road to recovery. I'm healing. And to thank you all so much for donating and helping out. You have just, you've just taken a huge, you don't even know, you've taken such a huge like weight and relief off my shoulders for kind of the, for everything going into the new years and all that, that I can't thank you guys enough. So for anyone who's donated or is going to donate, I love you and thank you so much. I'll try to make this up to you guys in any way that I, uh, that I possibly can. But yeah, that's it for now, you guys. I had to sit down because that shit was getting painful just standing up. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, I love you all. And uh, I will see you on the next update. I go to clinic on Monday, but again, I won't be doing PFTs because I can't flex my abs in order to blow out the air like, uh, like you do with PFTs because of those sutures that are deep in there, so... Won't be doing that, we'll just be going for just the usual. If you guys want more like up-to-date stuff and want to keep up with me like easier than waiting on like vlog updates, be sure to follow me on Instagram. Instagram is my main social media platform that I am most active on with stories and all that. So it's Cystic One. Everything is Cystic One across all the land. So be sure to follow me on there. You can keep track of when I'm going to be streaming again so you guys can come hang out on stream. And uh, yeah. That's, a, that's about it for now. I love you all. Thank you all absolutely so much from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing. I will see you, um, I will see you on the next one. Morgan, out of here.